Have you deleted some important files that you still need? Are they gone forever? Well, no, because there's an app for that. This video is sponsored by Wondershare Recovered app, and I will show you exactly how you can use this app to get your files back. You can use this method on any storage devices. But today, for demonstration purposes, I will be using this external SSD. It can be SD cards, internal storage, anything. But let's have a look. For example, I have a folder here with 10 video files. This is my archive, Ivadim's archive. Important stuff, okay? So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and delete it completely. I'll even uh, empty the recycling bin right here to ensure that it's all gone, all right? This is the X10 Pro external drive, and it is now empty. You see? 1.81 terabytes of 1.81 terabytes free. So the files are gone. And we'll try to actually restore them using the Wondershare Recovered app. Here's the drive in question, X10 Pro. So we'll go ahead and scan it. Let's see what happens. Oh. It found some other stuff that uh, I deleted recently. The scan is running. It's doing a deep scan. The scan is still in progress, but I just wanted to show you that it already found quite a few video files that once were located on this SSD. And yeah, they're all deleted now. <laughs> but it found them. By the way, it looks like the faster your drive is, the faster the scanning will be complete, because take a look at that. 1.7 gigabytes per second read speed currently on this USB external SSD. That means that if we were scanning something like a super fast Gen 5 internal SSD, then this process would have been much faster. Not that the 1.7 gigabytes per second speed is slow by any means, because this is still very fast, especially coming from an external USB Type-C SSD. All right, the scan is done, and here is the result. 560 files have been found, and here is the list of all those files. Let's take a look at them. That folder that I showed you at the beginning of the video contained 10 video files worth around 18 gigabytes of storage. And <laughs> this app found 1.3 terabytes worth of files that were at some point located on this drive. Because I use it quite a lot. Let's see what we have here. Here is how it looks the drive, the total number of files over here, and they're also sorted by various types. For example, MP4, MOV, MPG, and so on. And they even have thumbnails, so you can uh, kind of check them out, like find the ones that you actually need. For example, over here, that I see that uh, this is a keyboard unboxing, this one is uh, the GPU unboxing, that is the 9060 XT, Asus Prime, I can see that right away. This is a mini PC, so this is quite handy. Even if you don't have the file names, you can still locate your files using the thumbnails. And I believe that this is the folder that we're looking for, Ivadim Archive, that is the one. Let's select it and click Recover and see what happens. We can select a path where to recover it to. Let's actually select the local drive on this PC to recover these files to. And I'll uh, name this folder Recover It Test. 
There we go. That's done. And let's recover it. Here's the process. It is not like absolutely super fast, but it's going at a decent pace. Take a look at that. And I already see by the name of the files that it's not just the files that we had in that folder. It is a lot more, but uh, I'm pretty sure that we'll have those exact files back. And actually more. The recovery process is nearly complete, and it's actually going faster than I expected. Obviously, this is due to the fact that I'm using a fast storage device via USB Type-C. So your experience may vary if you're using a slower SD card, for example, then that will be the bottleneck. But if you're using a fast drive via a fast connection, then everything will go smoothly and quickly. Take a look at this. 90 six percent we're almost done so let's keep this video going let's do this live i'm just curious to see what will happen when that bar completes when the recovery is done and we're almost there less than one percent left there we go it's done and it actually opened up the local folder where it recovered the files too. Okay, uh, let's check out the app first. What does it say? 77 files recovered. And you can hit open folder to open up uh, the folder with the uh, files that were recovered. And let's take a look at this. This actually worked uh, better than I expected. This is... Uh, not what I initially planned, because uh, we had 18 gigabytes worth of files in uh, that particular uh, folder, but uh, <laughs> we managed to recover much more, much, much more. These are the files that I had way back, and uh, I deleted them, I cleaned this drive, and they were recovered. Take a look at this. This is my archive. <laughs> Let's take a look, okay? I saved the initial iVadim Archive 2025 folder in other location for reference. So let's see if these files are among those uh, that were recovered. Let's look for the MSI RTX 5060 Shadow 2X review. Uh, where is it? There it is. It's right here. And let's see if we can open it up and play it. Yes, it is exactly as expected. It's playing back normally. And the whole video file has been recovered completely. It is usable. Just to prove it to you, I'm opening up the one that is healthy from the backup folder right here it's the same it's the same file all right that's quite good okay so let's look for the msi ventus 2x rtx 5060 ti review is it here yes it is right there let's open it up to see if it works yes it does work there we go Beautiful. The 5060 Ti Inspire 2X review. Where is it? Let's find it. Review 5060 Ti Inspire 2X. There it is. Another file completely in working order. Sapphire Pulse. RX 9070 review. Let's uh, look for it. Sapphire Pulse. RX 9070 review. It's here. So it works. That's four out of four. Unbox MSI RTX 5070 Ventus 3X. There it is. 
working. Unboxing RX 9070. Let's find this one. Yes, it is right here. <laughs> and it's working. I had some duplicates, I think. Yeah, this one right here. Oh no, this one is review and this one is unboxing. So those are not duplicates. And let's see this one right here, DDR5 Vista. And that was unboxing. Unboxing Predator DDR5 Vista, right there. There it is. So the Wondershare Recovered app managed to recover every file that, uh, that I deleted. <laughs> and even more, it managed to do more than that. I think at this point we have to keep going because we only have a few more left to check. Unboxing MSI Ventus 2X 5060Ti. Where is it? Unboxing MSI Ventus 2X 5060Ti. There it is. It's working. And uh, the last one, I believe, the unboxing 5060Ti Inspire 2X. There it is. And it's working. And that is all the files that we deleted at the beginning of this video. Recovered. Completely functional. Ready to be used again. Beautiful. And we could actually keep going and uh, recover more files that were stored on this SSD at certain times. For example, NAS speed test. I uh, had that stored on the SSD at some point. Yeah, 1.3 terabytes of files total. A lot, a lot of files. I am impressed how easy it is to just use the Wondershare Recover It app and uh, at how functional it is, at how potent it is at recovering accidentally deleted files. It works. If you want to recover your lost files, then check out the Wondershare Recover It app at the link in the description below. If you found this video helpful, then don't forget to reward it with a like and let me know in the comments below, what do you think about this? Are you as impressed as I am? Let me know. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.